Let me introduce a very, very special camera that I um, used to shoot on a recent trip to Lisbon. Um, this is the Koneka Autoreflex, but um, the one uh, which is a half frame one. And it's very special because um, you can switch on the fly uh, between full frame and half frame. So half frame, if you know, is uh, no, no, the, 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 the rule is you have, you use half the size, so let's open that, and instead of, uh, of shooting a regular full frame, yeah, 26 by, uh, 24 by 36 millimeter, and you can swap that, change that, and there's a mask here, you can see, and you shoot half of a frame. And in the visor, you can see if you are in half frame or a full frame. If you're half frame, you're shooting vertically. And if you are full frame, you're shooting a normal uh, uh, 20, 20, 35 millimeter film. Uh, and what's very original with this camera, it's the only one I know that allows to uh, switch between full frame and half frame with a simple lever. Yes? And uh, <clears throat> this is very special. Um, the half frame cameras were very popular in the in the sixties um, because film was exp was expensive, and then you you had to be able to to shoot some uh, rolls uh, with more uh, more shots uh, with a film. Uh, so you've got very compact cameras like the the Canon Demi or the the uh, what is also known as full frame or the uh, the Olympus Pen EE series, uh, but this one is very uh, very general because first it's a reflex on a half frame camera. One over that I have is an Olympus Pen FT, which is the one where you, when you can swap lens. But this one is like a regular uh, no auto reflex camera, so you can swap the lens and have the the, the full range of of lens available uh, for Konica, which is uh, very nice shots and half frame shots. Uh, must have been a nightmare for people developing film at the time. <laughs> and um, there is also, um, if you look at the casing, which I have here, you've got some um, indication on the, on the rear that says if you switching for um, full to half frame, so you are in the, in a full frame situation like, the, like so, and you want to change, then you have to wind first, yeah, and then you flip, right, and then you can shoot. Okay, if you are in a half situation and you want to change, then first you've got a flip, and then you've got a wind, yes, and then you can shoot. Okay, so this is to prevent. Uh, uh, that your frames are not correctly allocated on the, on, the, on the film, so it makes sense. And it's a small reminder here that you have at the back of the, of the film or the camera, you get used to it. And in fact, if you, if you don't do that correctly, it, doesn't, it still works. So you, you've got the on-off here. You put there is a, a small battery here. When you put your on-on to have the, the, the meter uh, being on, it can be sometimes uh, problematic because I tend to forget it and shoot. And as this is mechanical, if you if you select it and you shoot, it works, right? So you have to remember to put it on and uh, and shoot to get the meter working. It's a um, speed priority a program. You select the speed here. Uh, when you select the speed and you see with the meter if the what the opening is going to be. And uh, as, as I said, the program then helps you uh, uh, getting the, the, the right uh, exposure. Um, you can shoot it manually. Uh, you don't have to set the meter. You can, you can select uh, the opening you want here. Yeah, uh, you, you keep the automatic mode and you can select your, your, your opening directly on the, on, on the, on, on, on the aperture on, the, on the here. And then you select the speed and then uh, if it works. So if you want to use a 1 16th, uh, the F16 rule, it's possible uh, if you want to use the meter it's it works 
where is the battery check here um, as I say I, I often forgot uh, so I took some other exposed shots mainly because I was in, in Lisbon and uh, the light was uh, was very bright uh, but then uh, uh, very nice camera to, to use uh, very metal solid uh, with a, a good range of uh, of, uh, of lens uh, this one is the 50 millimeter f1.8 uh, yes 50 millimeter f1.8 this is the one I used in Lisbon uh, Konica Xanon uh, lens is a very good lens and um, I have a 1.4 but I didn't use it because there was a lot of light and there was a need for that I shot with a, a color a Fuji uh, expired CE 100 so ISO 100 by the way you can select the ISO somewhere here with that little wheel here so I shoot it I shoot some uh, some uh, film uh, as I said I shoot Fuji color um, C100 expired from hmm I think it was a 2003 uh, expiration date I shot that in 2019 so well that's uh, 15 years expiration expiration something like that um, and uh, well I got very grainy results so maybe the the not the best uh, shot to, to to show the capabilities of that camera but uh, I think it's interesting to have some uh, some example shots and uh, take into account it's an expired film so it gives some uh, funky results a lot of grain and uh, maybe sometimes I was a bit overexposed because I, I tend to uh, to when I use expired film to think that uh, they're going to lose sensitivity and I, I push a bit uh, one or two stops uh, maybe with a light in, in Lisbon that wasn't so necessary so again maybe my shots are a bit overexposed but it gives you an idea of what, what, what this camera does and uh, anyway I thought it was a, a nice camera to show uh, one of the many in my collections that I like to shoot um, so without uh, waiting uh, too much um, I'm going to show you some uh, simple shots uh, so let's go uh, let's see that and uh, if you like if you want to see more uh, films like that just uh, tell me in the comments and uh, if you want to follow me just uh, I would be pleased if you uh, select the subscribe button okay thank you bye bye